All right. Let's talk a little bit today about cutting the brims. Um, two or three people have mentioned um, that they want their brims cut and they're thinking about doing it and this and that. Let me tell you what's involved. Generally, cutting the brim is done with something called a brim cutter. It's essentially like a, uh, a compass kind of a thing that sort of swivels around the brim. It's almost like, okay, so here's the hat. The brim cutter goes around. It's kind of like a curved piece. It swivels around this crown. So the first thing you have to do is make the crown very round. So if you're like the guy who does this, you know, we got to round out the hat. Second thing is we got to remove the bands because what we're doing is we're tracing the crown to get the circle. So if you have a, a bow here, the, side of the shape of the brim is going to be like, you know, uneven as soon as you get to the bow. So you're getting around and then, you know. So the bow has to be removed, okay? We take the stitches out, we take that off. Round out the hat so it's nice and round, no pinches, just nice and round, okay? You put this thing on it, it's basically like a sort of a curved piece like this, wood, and then it extends out and then there's a little blade that sticks down, okay? So you could adjust the blade to be as long as you want, okay? And then it works like a compass, it goes around like that, okay? They cut it. So you're basically left with the raw edge, okay? With brim cutting, here's the deal. You can only cut a little bit. If you're going to start to cut a lot, okay, like let's say you want to cut like, you know, this much off or something, okay, what's happening is you've got a flange here. The flange is the snap. It's the brim that, that curves, okay, this scoop. See that scoop? That's your flange. That shape allows the hat to snap up and down. You know about this, okay? It also gives it its look, the up look, the down look, okay? All right. When you cut that whole part off, you're left with just the flat part. So it looks like it's just sticking out like this, you know, like you cut it with a scissor and it's, there's only half a brim left. So in other words, you can't just take all of this stuff off because you're, you're not left with the whole curve anymore. You follow me? You only, you only have half of it, which is not a curve, it's just like flat. So all this part that's going out, pretty much the second, maybe the, the last two-thirds of the brim is the curve, you know? The first part is flat almost. So you're saving the flat part, the curved part comes off. What you have left is like this stub that just sticks out. It looks like, instead of like an actual brim that flips up, it looks like it's just coming out. And that's like half a hat. It's not a brim. It's a, you know, people think, oh, a flat brim, a flat brim. Flat brims don't look right. They might if they're really big and they're stiff and stuff. But when they're tiny and they don't have a flange on it, they just don't look like brims anymore. They look like somebody cut the hat with a scissor and ruined it, basically. All right. What is the answer to this? It's the hand motion slightly. I'm very aware of it. All right, the answer to this is basically you have to re-block the hat. After you cut that off, you have to put the mold back on the brim and get that curve back in it. So in other words, instead of like a, a two and a half inch uh, mold with a flange on it, okay, they're going to make a smaller one that's got the same scoop, but you know, at two and a quarter or two and one eighth inch or two inch. So you're putting the shape back in the brim so that it may snap again and look right, look correct. So, what you're paying for is the brim to be cut, okay, and then you want to pay for the brim to be blocked again, which is essentially like manufacturing the brim, you know, again, it's like, you know, you got to stiffen it, and you got to do all this stuff, and cook it, and heat it, and wet it, and stretch it on its blocks, and it's, it's a big deal. It's not, it's not a quick, you know, blocking it is, generally a more expensive thing because it's not just cutting it. You know, cutting it too is not just that. They have to sand it, you know, they have to get it even and everything. It's not that easy. You know, when they get to the end, they have to sand the finish to make it look professional and smooth and stuff. And then they block it. So, um, it can get costly. It can start to cost a pretty penny. So let's say, I don't know, cutting a brim is 25 or 30 bucks or something. I'm going to say it's probably more. I really don't know. Um, but uh, you can call the repair guy at JJ Hats. 
he'll tell you. His name is Van. He's the uh, the hat maker. All right, let's just say out of for argument's sake, it's twenty five or thirty bucks to cut a brim. I honestly don't even know what it costs. It could be fifty. Uh, it could be twenty. But um, I'm gonna guess. Let's say the thirty bucks. Okay. Um, the blocking is also going to cost you a good amount too. That might cost you like 50 bucks to just block that. You know, maybe it's 75 to uh, block a brim and a crown, but 50 just to block one or the other or something, you know. Um, I don't know how much it costs. It could be 40, let's say. So, you know, you're talking 40 plus 30, 70, you know, 70 bucks to cut a brim. It's not cheap. Um, if you're cutting small, if you're just doing like two and a half inch down to two and a quarter. Let's say you're taking off an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. You might be able to get away with it. Um, sometimes you could get away with it. It really depends. Um, eighth of an inch, I'll say yes. Quarter of an inch, you're going to have to ask the hat maker. Um, it's a little bit out of my field, but from experience sake, anything that's a decent cut you're gonna have to do that generally what you can say too is you'd be like okay let me look at it when it's done and if I feel I want to pay for blocking I can pay for blocking too you know you could do that um, but yeah I'd say eighth you could get away with it a quarter maybe maybe not so that's when you start having to look into re-blocking the hat and generally they'll tell you they'll just like tell you you know, you know you're gonna have to block it you know? it's gonna look like caca but uh, if you're doing anything more than that, if you're doing like, you know, three-eighths of an inch or half an inch, you got to block that out, definitely. If we're talking an eighth, a sixteenth, or a quarter, you know, maybe you can get away with it. There are ways of faking the flange, you know, you could kind of do certain things, like if you lay your head flat on the table, you could kind of like press down on it in a certain way to get the end to stick. You know, there are ways we can fake a flange with steam, but, you know, it never really looks as good. So, you know, you ask your hat maker about that. But that's basically, uh, cutting a brim is not that simple. There used to be guys who would do it even while you waited. That was back in the days where they had, you know, lots and lots of hat shops, and people would bring in, like, religious hats. Um, the, uh, the Jewish neighborhoods, they would have, you know, five-inch, six-inch, uh, you know, Three and a half, four inch, four and a half, five, six big, big brims. And you know, for somebody to take some of that off of those hats, it was no big deal. You know, they would just take some off because uh, it's almost all flat, you know. Actually, the wider you go in a brim, the flatter the flange generally looks. The shorter the brim, the more scooped and curled the brim looks, less, less flat. So generally, when you start getting into bigger than three inch brims, they're pretty flat anyway, so it's not the worst thing. But um, it's all like, a, it's mathematics, you know, it's a percentage. You're taking off a small percentage of a fifth, you know, a uh, five inch brim, you know, just this much. It's all relative, you know, same thing. Um, you take off a small percentage of the brim, you probably don't have to re-block it. That's what I'm getting at, basically. Um, cutting your brim, uh, it's something, you know, if you have a hat that's expensive, you know, or a hat that's got some sentimental value and you're not wearing it because the brim sucks, you know, or if you have a hat that's just, you love it, but you just hate that brim, you know, you can do it. You can try it. Um, I'm going to say this. Don't do the scissor thing. You think, like, I'm going to be the one guy who gets away with it? Ugh. Don't do the scissor thing. It's not a good idea. If you think you can get away with it because you're an artist or something like that, it's rough. It's really rough. Um, I think I have a hat that I tried to do that and somebody had to fix it for me. Um, they did wind up having to use a brim cutter and cutting it way shorter to get everything even. But yeah, don't do the scissor thing. Just don't do it. It's so bad you'll just ruin your hat. Period. Uh, even a guy like me. yeah. I know hats in and out. Don't cut your brim with a scissor.
30. All right, we've got a little time. Um, I got my, my super delay came in yesterday, my Grand Canyon, so I'm kind of in a guitar -y kind of mood today. turning single notes into chords. So anybody can play guitar now. What a strange setting. This one has reverb. for is up too high. It's like a warped vinyl kind of a thing.
Play along with that. Let's use the fuzz face. It's got a new fuzz face pedal. Let's see how this works.
face is kicking. Serious butt, right? Hey. Yeah, guys, have a great night.